There's an interesting kind of phenomenon and workflow conundrum that's going on with Claude Code in mobile and web that I am just encountering and would love to actually to hear how you're handling it. The issue comes when you're using Claude Code on mobile or in the web, and you're essentially using agentic development. So it's going off, pulling from GitHub into the cloud, it's doing a bunch of development and coming back and bringing a new branch that it's creating with all of the code that's fixed. And let me just show you what I did. So we, this one's a good example. So we wrote a bunch of tests. So my favorite thing is most nights, I just say, hey, go write a bunch of tests. And it goes and it writes a bunch of tests. And in doing that, it creates a branch. Uh, you can see the branch name down here. I've since merged this one. But if you go into GitHub, you can kind of see the issue, which is I have this branch that's been created, right? This branch was created and it did all of this work. Now here is a thing that makes it more complicated is now we're working in three places. One is our local environment. We have cursor here and this is a place where we do work and we know everything that's going on here. This is very easy. We do work here, we push it up to GitHub, we pull stuff down from GitHub, sometimes we do this. But now we're introducing kind of a third leg of the stool, right? Which is this agent that goes and does work entirely by itself. And from a strategy perspective, I very much like to give an agent or a task in Claude Code, mobile or web, that I know it can be completely autonomous. It's not gonna have to ask for my approval. I'm not gonna want to give approval or feedback or anything like that to it. And it's just gonna go do it, right? So writing tests is a really good one. But then it comes and it gives this, um, it's on a branch and my GitHub workflows here are now giving feedback on this, saying like, hey, a lot of this is good, but this isn't so good, or this isn't so good, or whatever. And now I have to pull this down locally, maybe onto my machine and say like, hey, what, what the heck do we do about this? Or what I normally do is I just work in the GitHub pull request. And I say, at Claude, fix the high level issues raised above here. So now the problem is I'm doing work in three places, right? I'm firing off this agent from Claude Code web or mobile app. I'm getting the results of it here. And the PR review is telling me things that I need to do. I'm asking it to fix those issues. It's coming back and doing some work and that's fine. And then I typically just merge this. But then sometimes I also pull the code down locally because I might need to play around with something. So I'm, I'm curious, honestly, how are you handling this? Because I don't know that I have a great solution for it. I think sometimes if I wanna play around with the functionality of something, I'll pull the branch down like I did here because I wanted to play around with this concept of post templates. We're having, in Linkberry, we're having examples of really banger posts to use as like waiting for the model to like write a little more like this. And so users will be able to create their own templates. We'll have some system templates that are available to everybody. Templates can be public or private, whatever. But we created this concept of templates and I wanted to see how this is implemented in the dashboard and in the app. So I, in this case, I, I switched to the branch locally. I pulled the code down here and I made some changes locally and we made changes here in GitHub. And so then I was having to squash or flatten or whatever. I don't even know the terminology for it. What's going on in GitHub with like the branch and the PR that was created. And then I contributed again to that PR with code that I wrote locally. And this just doesn't seem right. Like to me, software development, probably just the only software development I've ever done has always just been me. So. I pull down the latest branch, I work on it, I push stuff up, I pull, I push, I pull. Like now we have like another developer <laughs> coming in and doing stuff, uh, which is the agent, right? The agent goes and does stuff and it comes and it creates this PR. Then I pull the PR down, do a little bit more stuff, maybe like run database migrations, maybe. That's a pretty classic one because the agent doesn't have access to the SAPA base MCP. So this has happened a couple of times. Doesn't have access to the SAPA base MCP. So I have to pull the code down use the MCP on my machine to to run the database migrations. And then no code has really been changed, but then I can close the pull request in GitHub. But often because I find the PR review 
in GitHub to be way more thorough and in-depth than anything that I do on my machine, I'm always asked to do things before I can confidently merge a pull request and, and finish off this new branch. And so it really is, um, it's a complicated setup. I'd love to hear, again, if you're an experienced developer, how I should be doing this. But I think some of the times, like if it's just writing tests, I'll just have it, you know, satisfy the the critique of the previous pull review, pull request review. <laughs> I'll just have it satisfy the the you know the comments of the PR review. Once it does it, it comes and has another commit, and then we merge this pull request. Uh, but then sometimes I need to pull the code down and the cold, pull the branch down on my machine, do some work, commit back to that branch, and then merge the whole thing into develop or main or whatever I'm doing. Um, so this only this problem only comes when we're creating branches. And most of the time that only for me right now is when I'm working with agents in Claude Code on mobile or in the web. And so that's how I'm handling this. I don't know if you've run into this and what kind of ways you have of kind of working around this, but especially as we go from vibe coding to using proper kind of Git flow and GitHub uh, workflows, this is something we're gonna have to have a really good and probably consistent process on. So we're doing the same thing every time because I do find it challenging when I'm like, hey, for this PR, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna just kind of work here in GitHub? Well, that, that's clean, but I don't get to see the code on my machine. And I really don't wanna merge stuff in just from GitHub without seeing, especially something that has UI on my machine. Now, maybe the answer is I should use develop and like really never work from main, always just work from develop. So I have main, I have develop, which is always a mirror of it. Uh, and then I have branches off of develop. That's, that's what we do at Castos. And maybe that's the answer. I don't know. Uh, but, but I think probably just merging stuff that the agents have created into main from GitHub is not the answer. So I should be pulling the code down all the time. But between that and the reviews that it creates, it's a really long process. Like it does this and the pull review, uh, the PR review goes for like a few minutes and then it has things that I have to do. And then I tell Claude uh, here in GitHub to fix these. And then it does that again. And sometimes there's two or three rounds of this. And finally I say, fuck it, just merge the thing and let's be done with this. But that doesn't seem right either. So. I, I just am I'm mentioning this because I don't really know what to do. I think I have a decent plan, which is generally I should pull everything down, play around with it, run some tests, maybe run my test suite, make sure everything passes, uh, and then run the debate database migrations if there are any, and then merge the branch from my machine or merge it from GitHub. I don't really know, but but generally I should probably pull the code down every time, run it, check it out, make sure it's cool, and then merge it once I've seen it on my machine. But if I change anything, then I have two different places that code is merged in into a single PR. And that's just new to me. And so I just want to share and see what you think of this, how you're handling it. Um, and if this is right or wrong, drop a comment in below so we can all kind of level up together. I'm Craig Hewitt. This is 100 Days of AI. We're really close to the end, uh, but really it's just the beginning. I have some super exciting stuff in store for you and the channel in the future.